Good day, hi, kids, and welcome to our today's discussion. So before we continue with our topic for today, let us have a recall first about singular and plural nouns. When we say singular, it means only one. And when we say plural, it means two or more. Now, our topic for today is all about the subject and verb agreement. So when we say subject, it means the noun or the pronoun or the one that is being talked about in the sentence. And when we say verb, these are the actions made by the noun or the subject. Now let's go to the rule for subject and verb agreement. And the rule is that singular noun takes singular verb and plural noun takes plural verb, which means that if we have a singular noun, our verb must be also in the singular form. And whenever we have a plural noun, our verb must also be in the plural form. So let's have some examples. Okay. How do you form singular verbs? And you are going to form singular verbs by adding S or ES at the end. And you can also use the linking verb IS. For example, the girl eats her meal. Now in this example, there is only one girl. So it means that we need to add S to our verb. And our verb here is the word EAT. So here, a singular noun or subject takes the singular verb. Next example, that lady is pretty. Now for this one, we only have one lady. So this one is a singular subject. And if we have a singular subject, we also or we must also have a singular verb. And for this one, we are going to use the linking verb is. Again, a singular subject must have a singular verb. Now, how do you form the plural verb? That's very simple. You just need to use the base form of the verb, which means that you are not going to change or you are not going to add anything to the base verb. And also, instead of is, you can use the word are. For example, the girls eat their meal. Now, for the girls, it can be two or more. So this one is also, or so this one is now plural, and the word eat will remain in its base form. Again, a plural subject must take the plural verb. Another example: those ladies are pretty. Again, ladies are now plural. So our subject must be, or the verb must be, plural. Now, there are some points that you need to remember in this topic. And that is, the verb must always agree with the subject, which means that if we have a singular subject, we must also have a singular verb, same as with the plural. Add S or ES at the end of the base verb to make it singular. And if you want to make a plural verb, just don't change anything. Now for you to try this topic, I have here the Kahoot pin and kind of go to Kahoot.com. And with that, I will now say goodbye. Goodbye, hi kids.